Greetings, this is Demonac, and I thought for the holidays, I'd just do a quick video here to give thanks to all the people who've sent me fan art through the years. This is what you find if you go to demonac.com slash fan art. And let's start from the top here. We've got this huge group shot by Scrap Paper. I'll, I'll put the links to the people who've given me social media for themselves. I'll put the, that links all in the comments down below. But Scrap Paper did a huge number of characters here. Just a ton of work on this big old group shot with the demon with my eyes in the background. Good stuff. Uh, Scrap Paper also did Warforce Dagger Face, but he can't play nice, so he was kept out of the uh, out of the big shot with the others. We have Jeremiah Samuel Tome, who made this really like, pretty cool like CGI like spell casting shot of Lord Kinokoro. And then followed it up with another one of uh, Lord Kintamazu here, and down below that, we got the two of them playing some kind of metaphysical chess, it looks like. Jeremiah Samuel Tome for those. And we have also, don't want to miss, FNF version of Little One by Dritt. And we've got Gashrin did this dwarf dagger face. I think they, I think they were planning on doing more, but they like this. This was enough. This was enough work already for trying to figure out what dwarf dagger face would look like. It kind of reminds me of El Tuco from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which makes sense because of the three, El Tuco would be the ugly. Then we have this uh, this big group shot of uh, Lucas Mitchell did all these actual physical clay figures of the the TDDC crew, which was like pretty amazing. Right down to the clay sensor sign on Dwarf Dagger Face. Uh, look at them all there. That's pretty good. And a, a big old rainbow dash here as well. And, and also I put in one of the close-ups version of Draven here. Claven. Don't want to skip this party shot with, 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 with my logo there so it looks like it could have been a screen capture from like early in the series by Ammon G. The whole basic party from way back when. Uh, Clockwork Rhapsody here did their tribute to Oluana, Magical Spring, looking down on Draven, and of course giving the finger to the corpse of Baron Deathmore, <laughs> which is pretty good. We got some really painterly sort of pieces from Gontes here. I hope that's how Gontes pronounces their name, but we got this very, very solid, very medieval looking Reginald Black. And Dante's also has Little One. So many people, like, just obsess over, like, the accurate Little One shield with all the Kuatoa teeth and, like, Gofi Sufo Hakta written in Kuar on it. Uh, so this one's from Gontes. Uh, we've got Angel Warrior Queen decided to do uh, their interpretation of what Rygax would look like with the hood down. There's Rygax. Arfar here did seven, and it's important to note that the reason it says eight there is that they were doing an art challenge, and day eight was familiar, it's, they, they didn't make a mistake on seven's Roman numerals. <laughs> it's just a very important to note there. We have a uh, Minecraft pixel art angel from Bessie for Life, which, it, if you were in Minecraft, that thing is huge. Um, Green Mute did uh, these sort of anime looking very cool like version of the woman in white and also of Angel in both dark costume and the checkerboard suit. Those are all pretty cool. Uh, Pringles, it was uh, very keen on accurate dragon anatomy. Liked Lady Mailana, but just really wanted to put out there into the world like this, this is what she'd look like if her wings were attached properly all down the back so that they could generate proper lift. Because I tried to extend them a little bit, but they were still a little bit closer to that fantasy wouldn't fly sort of direction. Oh, whoops, there's also this TDDC party as vector art very simplified like clean sort of look which i guess got separated from the other piece by bessie for life sharp um there's a section here from gregor draws who has done fan art of a whole bunch of the characters we've got this draven mid flight mid shot kicking ass there we've got oops, a little bit bigger than my screen here little one in his new dragon scale armor also by gregor draws and 
Gregor Draws also did. Angel's Master versus Deathfin Zokuno here, which is that that is a very cool portrayal of Zokuno on the attack. And oh yeah, that that was also Gregor Draws who did this fantastic cartoony TR4, showing once again what we already know that TR4 gets the most love per minute of screen time of any character, I think. <laughs> And also Gregor's version of Reginald Black. Got that quite a set there. We've got his little one by DJ Fail with another super accurate shield. It's just, it's just fascinating to me how much people like that. Like, no, they, the shield must be accurate. <laughs> They've done a good job. And then we've got, oh, this one was also Gregor Draws. I forgot when I was grouping them together. Of Angel with her ugly new magic suit, but pretty cool looking chain. So that's all fan art that people send me. You can send fan art to fanart at demonact.com. Now, I just want to say I'm not a million percent sure that that email is actually properly getting redirected. So if you have sent something to fanart at demonact.com and it didn't show up here, I did not reject you. It means that my shitty server is not forwarding email properly. If that's the case, there will be a link to the TDDC Discord. There's an art channel in the TDDC Discord that anyone can join. Or you could just tweet it to me if Twitter still exists, at TalesDDC on Twitter. But uh, we've gotten through all the fan art. I thought, uh, we'll just keep going a little bit longer and get into the the separate section, I want to make very clear the difference. These are not fan art. These are people that I paid to make art for me. But I do have a bunch of commissioned art on here. Including, of course, we have the uh, the original sketches for Swain. Done by Tin Min. This artist who I've fallen out of contact with. I can't get in touch with them to thank them or send them an extra tip or something. All, all my contact info is gone, which is too bad. Because they did a great job making Swain, which I basically inked and colored and then did what I needed to for the rest of the series. It was concept art. I also got this commission of Death in Vasili as an anime screenshot. I see I still maintain the reach advantage. <laughs> That's by uh, Rasbipak. We've got these great, like, uh, very characterful, like, colored sketches of all the TDDC crew from Archie Doodler. Archie here. We got Draven looking like Lupin the Third. <laughs> or that that character from Lupin the Third, anyway. But Archie Doodler also did. We got this little one. We got Angel, Krilladin, Black, and of course. The Archie Doodler is the person who I commissioned to do those fantastic sketches you've seen from the teaser for Tales from My D&D campaign, Sea of Secrets, to help me in concept art the new party, but also to show portraits when they're speaking. Uh, this this bit here is, I, I designed the party as best I could years ago on Hero Forge. I think they might have some better options now for Black's Hammer helmet. I was always annoyed that they had this fantastic helmet called the Paladin Helm. That would have looked great for Black. It looked a lot like Black's Helm, except it had giant goofy ass wings sticking out the sides that ruined it. So I went with this sort of bucket head version. I don't, I keep sending them the suggestion to make the Paladin Helm without wings. I can't remember if they made it or not. But yeah, I got these metal version of the party back when we were playing. And we've also got, uh, we've got Lady Vasaris, Little One's Mum in human form by uh, Lee Moonchick. And, uh, I like her doing her human human form dragon so much. I also got her to do this beautiful Lady Paragos in human form, which uh, doesn't make sense to a lot of you if you haven't seen the unlisted Dragon Council short story on my channel. I'll put a link to that in the thing here. I'll, it'll, it'll come up as like a card on a video or whatever, because that video is unlisted for various reasons involving the algorithm, but... I would like everyone to see it. If you're, if you're into deep lore for TDDC and you just want to hear me doing a whole bunch of probably annoying dragon voices having a conversation about politics, that's, that's what that story is. Then from my military fantasy novel that I'm theoretically writing even though I have not made a lot of progress at all in the last two years, goddammit. It's called Mage Captain Sahara and uh, we've got the titular Sahara on the left here, and her best friend, who is right next to her here, but uh, her, her, her friend Thalaja is actually quite a bit taller than Sahara. 
as, a, as in their in their military uniforms and their armor by mischievous art. I got this cute mage Captain Sahara Chibi, which has her staring right through you glare, which is fairly characteristic. And this is by Salty Sprout. And then I also got uh, Lee Moonchick again to do the casual clothing versions of Sahara here on the left and Thalaja on the right. They have, if you're wondering why they have those little half cloak things, that is a uh, cultural thing from their nation. Then, uh, of course, again, mischievous art again for some of the cover art from Mage Captain Sahara chapters. And I put a link here to try and, because I put the first, because I read the first chapter on YouTube, the rest of it's on Patreon. But there's, there needs to be more of it because I got to do that. And then we have another Thalaja here by Narnit. Thalaja in action, running up a tree, and use some of her ice magic there. So that's uh, that's most of it. Again, they uh, you submit by email at fanart at demonact.com. And even though I'm kind of suspicious about that email address, because like it, Google won't let me send email to myself there, but I can't tell if that's because I'm kind of sending from the email that it eventually gets redirected to, or I don't know what's going on with if that doesn't work, again, there'll be links down below for the Discord, or you can send it to me on Twitter. And I ask everyone for permission, just to be extra paranoid, even though I'm pretty sure if you made fan art of something of mine that you want to show it off. But before I put anything on this page, I make sure to ask people permission, because I, I don't know, I'm just extra careful about that. And yeah, the, the one other commission piece I did, I've got over here, there's a, there's a page on demonact.com for the Hammer and Smoke D, D podcast which is another thing that i'm working on but need to do a lot more work on it's currently just on patreon there are three episodes up there now you know keep working on it keep making these podcast episodes of D, &D campaign it was where quill 18 was the gm so i have a character and then of course get too attached i got this beautiful commission art of my character from hammer and smoke tana who appears to be falling oh Come on, you don't don't you just look at that? You 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 want to reach out and catch her, right? You have to make sure make sure to catch her. That's by Moro Moro Art. I've got a close up here because that shot is in tremendous like level of detail and stuff like that. Anyway, that's my fan art and a bunch of art that commissioned art that I have paid for. Mostly, I just want to thank everyone who watches any of my stuff. People who like another gaming comic and still show up every once in a while to bug me to make more another gaming comic that I got burned out on. Or all the people who watch TDC, and of course, everyone who supports me on Patreon, which is why I'm able to keep doing this stuff, and God, I hope I get faster at some point in the future. I am, I am working on Sea of Secrets now. There's a lot of work to do for the first episode because I have to draw everything from scratch. But uh, working on that and the script and uh, trying to get all these other moving parts together in the new year. But otherwise, again, thanks to everyone who watches. Thanks to my patrons who make it possible for this to be my job. And of course, the super generous members of the organization.